Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the Tales of Buffy episode 10, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Hey Ascendancy! What's up buddy? It was fun reading you a few nights ago. Now one of the advantages of the storm here is uh, it gives some cover noise. So zombies can't track the sound I make as easily. The same way with like how fog can obscure your... I mean, fog makes it hard to see zombies, but it also makes it harder for zombies to see you. So there are some benefits to weather. Hey, a doll! I'm gonna do something creepy with that. Um. Oh, that was a fuck noise. There, dolly in the road. Okay. That guy has a shotgun on his back. He's also a deputy, so he'd have probably a bulletproof vest, but I feel like if I stop for everything that looks nice, I'll never be done. Come here, John Deere. So this is the house I cleared, this is the mail, and then this is where I left off because it started to get thick as zombies. So I have a lot of fighting up ahead. I could just blast through and try to get to the bookstore, loot it quick, but I think that's probably more dangerous than I want to, more risk than I want to, I want to take. You had bait blockers. Alright. Uh, it's probably going to be worth me dipping into the grocery store, though. I think probably everyone would agree. Provisions is worth... Uh, most of the vegetables are going to be rotten, but some of the frozen stuff will still be okay. God, I really do miss multi-hit. In Apocalypse difficulty, there is no multi-hit, and it makes large groups like this sketchier. Yeah, let's get out of the road. Uh, also, take some beta blocks. And... Eat stew. Now let's see if I can't trip them up a bit. Break up the group. No, they're still in one big turd. That is the... Official nomenclature for a horde of zombies. A turd of zombies. It's like herd, but terrible. It's a terrible herd. Come on, finish the Siggy. Alright, here we go. Now they're not so grouped. Shit. 
Shush. How's my crowbar? Fine. Oh, more dolls. Some matches. You found me on YouTube, Squiggly. Well, welcome, Squiggly Potatoes. I actually just ate potatoes in-game moments ago. You missed it. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you caught me eat, sucking down that bowl of stew that I had, but they were potatoes. Lovely potato stew. Keeps me going. Is my dog better again? It is. He is. Here he is. Yoda, look alive. Hold up today's newspaper. He's still a little sluggish, but he's no longer uh, vomiting constantly, which is good. I'm not really sure what was up with him, but um, it made for a very gross night. Yeah, he was a he was sick. It wasn't great. I feel bad for the little guy. He spent a day not really eating or drinking. A little worried about his dehydration, but uh, I managed to force hydrate him. All right, yeah, as sort of suspected, uh, this tomato's still good. I'm just going to eat it, even though it's going to make me unhappy. Most of the pro uh, fresh produce is going to be not so fresh anymore because it's been a week out. If that makes sense. But there should be plenty of dry goods that I can loot. Come on. It's especially handy to get here before the power goes out, so that if there is... Of course, so far, there hasn't been a single... Oh, yeah, here we go. Milk. I'll keep that for uh, mildew spray later on. Oh, here we are. This is what I'm talking about. Here, let me put that in my actual inventory. Some cake. And corn dogs. Piles of candy. And my duffel's full. The power of flour. Sounds like I got norovirus. Yeah. You know what's funny? I got norovirus, so it actually makes sense. I think I gave him norovirus. I, over Thanksgiving, had a terrible case of norovirus. The most sick I've been in about a decade. And uh, I think I passed it on to Yoda, unfortunately. It just took like a... It took like a week to... Uh, for the virus to replicate enough to for him to show symptoms. Yeah, my, my norovirus was, uh, it was disgusting. My family was, so I drove, so, so what happened is I drove, um, I don't even know how many miles it is. Like, Yeah, I don't even know how many miles it is, but uh, I drove four days to visit my parents and got there, got... Oh, I left my radio on. Got there and got, like, sick and then drove home. That was my Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pretty anticlimactic. I didn't even have Thanksgiving dinner. I had, like, a few saltines. Maybe ten saltines all of Thanksgiving. That was all that I ate. And then I drove home. Um. Alright, so... I don't like to put things in the uh, passenger seat, because then it makes it so that you can only get in and out of your car one direction. But I'm going to do it in this case, because I just have so much stuff that the... Uh, that my trunk cannot accommodate. So, I have filled this car to the brim. It can hold no more. Well, no, that's not true. There's a glove box that I did not... Uh, did I at least take leftovers? No, because I was driving all day. Um, whatever leftovers I would have had would have been in a car for 18 hours. So I didn't bother with uh, taking anything.
Oh, my trunk was closed and I put it all on the ground? Nice. Good job, me. Well, hey, the good news is there was more room in the trunk. The bag of flour helped to kick that off. 18-hour drive? Yeah. It was about an 18-hour drive. It was a very long way. I drove 18 hours with norovirus. Like, with the exhaustion bit of norovirus. I don't know if you've ever gotten norovirus, but it... it I mean, it's sort of like food poisoning, in a way. But it makes you very... very sick. But it's also very brief, so... Or can make you very sick. So I got very, very sick, but only for maybe 36 hours. I'm obviously not going to make it to the, uh, the bookstore today either. I apologize. I think you all understand why I didn't. Because this loot just is too good. Uh-oh, I hear zombies. Where are they? Oh, you're behind me. No sneaky up. Oh, my lord, is that unnecessarily bright. That there was like a white torture sensory overload room. Hey, taxi key! Taxis are, are often very powerful vehicles. They tend to have like 400 horsepower. And they're good daily drivers too. So I'll take a look under the hood in a sec. I might be able to uh, tow my first car back with the second car if this has gas. If this doesn't have gas, I don't have a jerry can on me, so I can't siphon. Nope, it's out of gas. It's also in pretty rough shape. So that might be a good battering ram vehicle. Um, if I could fix up the tires so the tires don't pop off. But it's not going to be uh, a daily driver without significant... It, um, maintenance. Well, I'm still not tired, so I'm going to try to make my way a little bit closer to the bookstore, so that I might be able to get to the bookstore eventually. Just making sure that that actually made it into the trunk and not on the ground. So my duffel. Is good. Riverside map. So the... Let me pause. Um, this here, I believe, is the grocery store. But only on the left side of it. All right, crowbar is still in great condition. Make up. Thanks for the resub. Oh, look, we have more twinsies. God, they go out in public like that? Actually, that's very much like a... Uh, not to be gendered, but... The stereotype of, oh my god, she's wearing my outfit. Like, no guy has said ever. <laughs> I wouldn't care, personally. If someone was wearing exactly what I'm wearing, I think it would be a full coincidence, and I wouldn't be offended. 
wouldn't feel the need to go home and change. Now, let me try to split up this group a little. Some will go over... Oh, no, they all went the long way. Really, you dummies? Come on now. There we go. Watch out for the... Oh, Jesus. Watch out for the ones that uh, trip and lunge. That is my least favorite zombie attack, other than, like, the... Crouching tiger in the bathroom zombies. They suck, too. The, like, peekaboo bathroom zombies are probably my least favorite, and then my next least favorite would be the ones that, um, are, like, little ankle grabbers that, uh, stagger you and set you up to be eaten. That's when you say, cool shirt, dude. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or, you look and fly. Or just the classic twinsies. Okay, I've driven about 10, 10 feet. <laughs> and I'm starting to get a drowsy. It's, um, it's only 5 p.m., so let me... Hey, you, come over here. Where's my vitamins? Oh, here they are. Oh, this guy's wearing the same shirt, too. They all must have been shopping in this, uh, clothing store. Zombies big and tall. Alright, so here we have the Riverside Suites to my north, and then the next block is the bookstore, Enigma Books. I can see my drowsiness wiggling. Oh! What is in your gut? Is that a bread knife? I think that's a bread knife. Yeah, it's a bread knife. Every now and then, I was helping for a machete or a katana. But I could, I could settle for bread knife. I could check the, the shoe store for shoes. Oh. I do... Okay. I'll fight this cautiously. It's getting stormy up in here. Okay, this is more than I wanted to fight. Beta blockers and a little bit of food. Oh, these apples are starting to spoil too. Hip check. Their group, okay, their group split up a little bit. Nope, no, it really hasn't. Uh, too many trees here. I'll just go back to the same set of fencing. It has been a tactic that has worked. Oh, don't get sad. It was just an apple. Come on now. It might have been one of those disgusting red deliciouses that just are taste waxy and terrible, but at least it's food. Buffy. At least it's food. Here we go, here we go.
I'm gonna get too drowsy for this. I mean, I do have another bottle of vitamins, but, uh... This is quite a conga. Right now, I'm just sad, though. Come on, you get to do what you love. Smashing heads. Don't be so dour. No, don't climb over again. There we go. Ooh, lining them up. Crunchy Cranium. And the down. Was that a sword? No, it's just another bread knife. Unfortunately. The problem with swords, I would say in this game, is there's so few of them that they're they're actually very, very hard to level up because you'll never, it's very difficult to find enough of them to become good at using them because the swords are um, two-handed sharp and there's just not a lot of two-hand sharp weapons in Zomboid. So it's, I've never made a two-hand sharp character ever because, uh, because it's just not a weapon type that you happen upon it enough. Well, it's getting late. I got most of the way there to the bookstore, um, but I didn't get all the way there. If it's cleared, I could hypothetically, oh, hi. I like your patriotic shirt. I could swing in and loot it. But I don't think it's cleared. I hear zombies around me still. I wanted to see if I could get military boots. Sneakers, flip-flops. So far, not good. No. Jeans, jeans, whoa. Handbag with earbuds in them. No, this, this, this has been a bust. What about in here? Nothing like clothing store that needs nails and radish seeds. Hey, a metal pipe. I like metal pipes. All right, let's move this box so we can get to everything. Where'd that box go? Okay. Some cabbage seeds and shotgun shells. Not bad. For a, a clothing store. Getting pretty drowsy, though. Um, I could- I didn't check these back. Shoes, sneakers, shoes, sneakers, shoes. Okay. I'll wear one of these new shoes, because I'm sure my old shoes are... No, oh, no, they were in like nine-tenths condition. They weren't bad. Not a single pair of boots in this whole place. Devastatingly bad selection. I'd complain to the manager, but I'm pretty sure I murdered the manager, so... Complaint hurt! I like how atmospheric, uh, the- ooh, god, that's way too bright. How atmospheric the game looks in a storm. So this is, uh, uh, 
I really shouldn't push it. But I think I'm going to. So, this is Enigma Books. It's... I'm going to leave the engine running just in case I need to bail. Because my tire miss is um, going up and up and up. There we are. If I could sneak in without... Ah, oh, crap. I was going to say, if I could sneak in without alerting the group of zombies to my southeast. But now I have to disassemble the door, so... Fat chance of that! I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get the door in time. I can hear them walking up on me. Oh no! I was just paranoid. Making sure I'm alone so I don't get a jump scare. Might help to turn on the lights. God, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's illuminated outside. I, was, I just had that worry of, like, what if they cut the power? Alright. Systematic clockwise. Um, I don't have a lot of carry weight. But uh, there's certainly going to be a lot of books I need to mark down. So if you're wondering, I have this little chart here that keeps track of the books I have, the books I need. Uh, advanced fishing. I I need. Advanced mechanics. I don't need. Electricity intermediate. I don't need. Farming beginners, I do need. Fishing beginner, I do need. First aid intermediate, I don't. Master farming, master first aid, I need just the farming one. Master metalwork, I do need that. Mechanics intermediate, don't need. Okay. That shelf is cleared. Advanced cooking. Uh, yes, I do need that. Advanced mechanics. I just uh, went over that. Uh, don't need that. Don't. Oh, no, I do need cooking intermediate too. Even though I'm almost all the way through, it wouldn't hurt to read it. Um, electricity. Electricity intermediate. No. Carpentry expert. Yes. Expert fishing. No. Expert forage. Yes. First date. Nope. Uh, foraging intermediate. Yes. Master trap. Oh, bag's full. Master trap. Yes. That's actually my first trapping book. Uh, tailoring Intermediate, no. Hunter Magazines, yes to both. Okay, that shelf is cleared. Yeah, I am pro-pausing between because uh, I don't want to die. Uh, first aid, yes. Because I'm having to, you know, I'm having to check them down. It would be really dumb if I died just by trying to be thorough. Um, so, big no thank you to that. Uh, don't need that. Advanced mechanic. No. Advanced tramp. Yes. Expert fish. No. Expert forage. No. Expert mechanic. Yes. Fish intermediate. Uh, yes. Forging beginner? Yes, as well. Okay, that one's done. Uh, this one's easy. 
dig at all. Nothing in these containers. Nope. Well, I'll take that tape. Hey, Sarah! You can't stick around, but uh, you're glad Buffy's back? Well, it wouldn't be Buffy without you. <laughs> Quite literally. She was the one that came up with the uh, idea for the name. Advanced Electrics. I do. I'll catch you in the YouTube comments then. Advanced Fishing. Regular book. Yeah, Expert Carpentry. No, Expert Farming. Yes. Luckily, once I complete the list, the bingo card, fill up the bingo card, I don't need to do this anymore. So it's boring, but only just the once. Uh, so that was Farming Intermediate. Check that off. First Aid Intermediate. No. Farming is done. Uh, so let me check off. I don't need any more farming books. I have them all. Uh, Fishing Intermediate. No. Master Farming. Uh, obviously, I just said I finished all the books. Um, metalwork? Yes. I don't have metalwork beginner. And Sarah, thank you for the bits. Good hunting? I appreciate it. All right. Master Taylor. I do need that. Ex Expert electricity. Yes. I'm breaking my back here. My character's going to be crippled by the time I'm done. Uh, advanced forage. No. So forage and fishing, I only need master. Farming is done. Advanced electricity, yes. Okay, I don't have too much more weight, so I might need to ditch the generic books. Master Mechanic. I do need it, and all of the mechanic books are now collected. Uh, expert. No, I don't need that. Expert First Aid. Yes, all the First Aid books have been collected. So I have now all farming First Aid and mechanics. What I really need to find is the um, advanced carpentry. I haven't, I don't have that yet, and that would be a um, a must. Okay, master electricity. I do need. I now have all the electricity books. I already picked that magazine up. Um. Mr. Taylor, yeah. I might be getting duplicates. I'm trying to be completionist here, but, you know, I can make mistakes. So, trapping intermediate, yes. I'm getting most of the books I need. This, is, uh, this has been a good visit. No, 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 okay. It is currently... The 11th day, yes. Oh, here we go. Advanced Carpentry. That was the big one. Now I just need Masterwork Carpentry, but that's not that big of a deal, because it comes much, much later. Uh, Metalwork for Beginners. And Master Mechanic. I'm done with Mechanic. Advanced Farming. Where's my Farming? Uh, no, I'm done with Farming. I don't think I need any of those. Except for trapping beginners. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, master carpentry, expert in, in master cooking, master fishing, master foraging, expert metalwork, expert tailoring, expert trapping. So, I really only need master and expert books now. So, I can just not even look at the other types. So, expert metalwork, no. Yes, metalwork is now done. Expert tailoring, yes. Now tailoring is done. Uh, 
Um, and that was all the expert and master books. Uh, I think I'm going to just ditch the generic books. I don't have the weight for them. Now, the one of the big things that I will note is I have not found the magazine I was chiefly looking for, but, like, can't win them all. Uh, expert first aid. Expert fishing. Expert tailor. Master fishing. Okay, right, master fishing, yes. Master uh, fishing is now done. Almost done, guys. Master carpentry, yes. Carpentry is now done. How to use generators. Woo! Yes! That's what I really need. All right, pop that bad boy in. Oh, here comes Tusky. She was excited for me as well. And then Master Fishing, no. Master Metalwork, no. So the list right now is Expert Master Cooking, Master Foraging, Expert Trapping. That is it. That is all that remains, those four books. So. Hi, Tusky. So none of these... Oh, no. Uh, no, that's advanced, not, not expert cooking. I have so many duplicate magazines, but they don't weigh that much, so it's fine. I'm almost done. Uh, that's Taylor, not trapping. Master farming, master first aid. Okay, I'm somewhat sure... I'm not going to slap a percent on it, but I'm somewhat sure that I have everything that I need and I didn't skip anything. So, there we go. And we got the the much needed how to use generator book. You're a good girl. That's that that was the real kicker. Um that way we can keep the lights on. All right, Corvette, let's go. All right, I tried to call her. I have a feeling she's not, this time, going to... Oh, no, here she is. Hi. Hi, puppy. Come here. If you hop up, I'll give you peanuts. She like. <laughs> Ow. That's my hand. Come on now. Oh. I got so slobbered. Oh, man. All right, bye. It's been a pleasure getting slobbered by you. Oh, did you drop a peanut? You better find that. I don't want ants. What are you doing? Oh, one under the couch. Here, you want more? If you if you hop up, I'll give you more. You gotta, you gotta get up on the couch. Go up. Good girl. And now I have to give everyone peanuts, because I can't just give her, her peanuts and not the others. One back, uh, Tuskies. There we go. So now, the trio reunited. Oh my god, there's so many books. <laughs> so, if I did my homework, let's see. I should not have the magazines I wasn't checking. Okay, I did grab two Master Tailors. So I, I, I did make one mistake. And two Advanced Electricities. Alright. I ain't perfect, but hey, uh, I, that was a good haul. That was a good haul. I can choose that. Peanuts for puppies. And coffee for daddy. She's so cute. Alright, now what would be terrible, and I hope I'm not jinxing myself, is if my home was not uh, empty. Because 
I am super tired and extraordinarily encumbered. I am in no condition to fight. Bye, girls. Yeah, zombie apocalypse, and I still have homework. And that Wesley really put me through the ropes. Well, at first glance, all I see is the zombies I've stripped naked. I don't see any hostiles. So that's good. I'm cocking back the crowbar as if it would do anything. <laughs> I would swing it and it'd just be like, whoosh. All right. Uh, what I'm doing right now, oh God, I already failed at that, is um, uh, let's drop all of these books at the bookcase here. And then I'll read the magazines or at least some of the magazines before going to sleep. Wow, I did that really fast. Oh, because it wasn't in my backpack. That makes sense. Ah, oh, yes. Looking at the time, um, yeah, I will read the uh, I will read the magazines, so I don't have to collect duplicates. Have a good night, Randall Thor. I'll see you in the YouTube comments. These clothes are looking worn? Oh no, they're actually great. They are sewn in with uh, leather leather patches. That's why they look the way they look. But they're they're in actually really good condition. I haven't been I don't think I've been hit once in 11 days. Right? I don't believe I've taken a single point of damage from any source. Not from zombies, not from falling, not from broken glass. You thought those were holes? Ah, uh, yes. I could see how you'd think that. I have so many magazines, and I'm such a slow reader. <laughs> oh, so much homework. Doing my homework at midnight. All right, I, I want to listen to the next weather report before we're going to sleep. <clears throat> I want to know if I'm losing power tomorrow or not. I took damage from over... Over encumbered books? Yeah, but that's not that's not like um, things that you have to patch up. Actually, one easy way to tell is do I have first aid skill? And I don't have a single point of XP in first aid, which means I haven't bandaged myself, I haven't done anything. I have not sustained damage. And now I've jinxed myself. All right. Here's the automated weather report. Robin! Robin 93, thank you for the follow. How many in-game days is an average run? Uh, average for a new player or average for an expert? Those are two extraordinarily different numbers. For a new player, uh, a day or two? And yes, the helicopter already flew by. That happened uh, a few days ago. Oh, another thunderstorm in five days? Dang. We have apocalyptic weather. I can't believe I haven't read my How to Use Generators book yet. Yeah, so if you're an expert, it's going to be multiple weeks, if months. If you're new, um, it's a day or two. <laughs> Zomboid is a very, very difficult game, and it's um, it's because it there's not a lot of games that are like it, combat-wise, exploration-wise, game mechanic-wise. 
So it doesn't draw on skills that people are familiar with honing. I would say that's probably why it's so difficult, because it's not like most other games, and therefore uh, you come into it very inexperienced. Usually. For someone like me, um, it depends on the difficulty. On Survivor difficulty, uh, probably a few months. On Apocalypse difficulty, probably a few weeks, unless I'm very careful. What's funny is there's not an extraordinarily big difference. There's not like a big difference between Survivor and Apocalypse. Just multi-hit and, and drag down are really the only changes. But uh, multi-hit makes an enormous difference when you're fighting uh, hordes of zombies. Because without multi-hit, you can only hit one zombie at a time. So if they're all clustered up in a big group, uh, there's no time to hit one and then to back up or hit one and run. A lot of the times what ends up happening is you swing and then you realize that you're getting overrun. And the moment you turn around to like run away, they'll just grab your back and tear you to the ground and eat you. That's what makes it... Oh, wow, it's really late. I'm going to go to sleep. Um, this pile of books like looks like a campfire. <laughs> That's great. So I did read how to use generators. Uh, there's still a bunch of unread magazines in my inventory, though, that I'm going to want to read tomorrow. What am I playing on now? This is Apocalypse. So this is the hardest default difficulty. Not the hardest scenario, though. There are some scenarios that are harder. There are some scenarios that you start off um, like six months in and there is very little to scavenge in the like. Right, I'm filling this bucket up full of water in case I lose my water. Put it with the paint can. Oh, not the sad music. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to put all my magazines that I have to read away. Now, I know I still have stuff in the, the Corvette, but it's too late for me to bother going out there right now. So, sleep we go. I'll probably wake up at like 10.30. Gorefists, thank you for the follow. Were you one of the uh, um, Ascendancy Raiders? I'm trying to place your name. I remember seeing it, but not in the context. And thank you, Baba Birius and Blop Dota 2 for the follows as well. <laughs> I like the names. So, stir fries. Uh, let's do two onions. Two potatoes and one corn. Big hearty meal coming. Ah, oh, you rated with Ral. Okay, that's that's where you rated from. Well, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to the Tales of Buffy Project Zomboid, which will really stream live on Twitch December seventh. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. This series is a result of a poll, so I don't know when the next time I'll stream it, but if you want to be informed on when there's polls for more Project Zomboid, Discord is the place for your announcements, so Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord so that you can take part in the polls. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for supporting the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, Zombie Slayers. <laughs>